so do you remember back when I uh, when I analyzed Eminem's Breakem and by extension analyzed Gem Smashers, I said it was an original concept? Never seen an action puzzle game done like that before. And the concept alone probably uh, probably deserves a lot of praise. Because I I'd never seen anything like that anywhere. Have you ever been in a situation where you receive new information that could significantly alter how people think of something you care about? Like before you were arguing, uh, you were arguing honestly, you know? You genuinely thought that everything you said was the truth, but now, you've discovered new information, and that new information could be potentially harmful to your original argument. Do you sacrifice your original argument for the sake of honesty? Or try to hide it. Try to hide that new information. Because even though you know the truth, if you try to hide or obscure that new information, then your original argument can remain intact, and people will believe what you want them to believe. So anyway, this is the first game on Action 52 for the Sega Genesis. Its name is Go Bonkers, and it is, a, uh, It is Gem Smashers before Gem Smashers. There are just too many similarities for me to deny it. These games are the same concept. You can only control your horizontal movement and not your vertical, because your vertical movement is decided by what you bump against. You have to bump against paintbrush blocks to change the color of your ball, so that way you can destroy blocks of the same color. Even many of the smaller mechanics are the same, like the control reversal blocks. So yeah, Gym Smashers was not an original concept like I said it was. At least one other game had done this before, and it was Action 52 on the Sega Genesis. I don't know if Action 52 got the game from somewhere else, but the point remains that Gym Smashers is not an original concept. And I was incorrect. And this is the only other example I can find of that kind of gameplay. So not only was it not an original concept in 2003, but Gym Smashers may well have taken the concept from Action 52. I suppose we'll never know, though it should be said that this doesn't change the fact that Gym Smashers is a great game, with far superior game design to this. For example, this game isn't actually finishable because of a level design oversight in the final level. Gym Smashers is still a good game, but it's not as original as I originally thought. 